Hey guys, hope you are all well and good. So this video is a rudiment based video and we're going to look at paradiddle diddles and we're going to leave with our right hand and we're going to leave with our left hand. Cool, so I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions on anything then contact Mr. Cardi and he can, uh, he can help you out. Cool, right, let's get into it. Cool, so we're going to start off with this pattern. I'm going to break it down as slowly as I can and I want you to just play along and follow. So, to start off with, we have right, left, right, right, left, left. So we've got singles to start with, and then we've got doubles to finish. So right, left, right, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left. So you can either pause the video or you can play along with me. So we do it again. Right, left, right, right, left, left. Cool. So once you've got really familiar with that, we want to speed it up a little bit. So right, left, right, right, left, left, 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 right, left, right, right, left, left. Cool. And if you notice, I'm naturally adding an accent at the beginning. So what we want to do is play the first right louder so right left right right left left right left right right left left so when you start to speed that up you can really hear how effective that accent is and it's really really disciplined so Cool, so you really want to distinguish the notes between the accents, making sure the accent's really loud and the other notes are really quiet, which we call ghost notes. So. so now we're going to take what we've just learned and we're going to flip it over and leave our left. So the sticking pattern stays exactly the same, but it's just opposite. So left right left left right right left right left left right right left right left left right right cool so you can pause the video give that a go um get get used to it get used to how it feels because it does feel totally different leaning with our left hand because um we always want to lead with our dominant hand so if you're right-handed you're going to be really good at the first part and not so good at this part. And if you're left-handed, then you're going to be better at this part and not the, the first part. So go and practice that for a little bit. Cool, so now you've practiced it, all we need to do now is add that accent at the beginning. So. both together so we're gonna go right left right right left left right left right right left left right left right right and then we do the left part so left right left left right right left right left left right right left right left left so we put that together right left right right left left right left right right left left right left right right left right left left right right left right left left right right left right left left so it's quite a lot to remember that's why it's really important that you practice this section by section so you practice the first part leaving with the right first for a while and you're really comfortable at looping that over and over again and then you do the second part and then when you kind of put it together you'll find it a lot easier putting it together so when, now you're really ready and once you've kind of played it through a few times um, you want to speed it up a little bit so
none of the accents.